Utah's liquor laws have long been the subject of jokes, criticism, and confusion. Where can you get a drink? What size of drink? Where can you take your drink? And when is happy hour? Or is there a happy hour? The restaurant and tourism industries complain the strange laws and scarce access to liquor licenses will discourage potential visitors from coming to the state. They are fighting for change. But this session, some state legislators say the only change anyone will see is administrative change. I think we'll see very few changes in substantive law in the 2012 session. I think we'll see more terms of structural changes in the governance. Who responds to whom? Who makes the accounting? Who is supervising whom? Those are the issues that I think we're going to be focusing on rather than looking at additional changes in the 2012 session. Over the last year, negative audits led to the resignation of the director of the DABC. And now a complete restructuring is expected. Absolutely, there needs to be some changes there in terms of governance and in terms of oversight. Along with allegations of mismanagement, there were budget cuts. Stores that brought in millions of dollars in profits were closed or the hours were cut back. I believe that there were some conceptual mistakes made as to whether or not we should close stores to save money, because I think we ended up costing ourselves more money in the end. The action was corrected, and the profitable stores reopened. But now there is talk of privatizing liquor sales. There's a lot of uh, people interested in that, a lot of special interest groups. I mean, you've got, you know, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, um, and then, of course, the, the Restaurant Association. And the hotel, you know, and the, the tourism association, they're all concerned about that, the Chamber of Commerce. So all those groups are really concerned about that issue, and we'll hear from all of them. And um, it's going to be an interesting discussion. I think, I think you'll see that that'll be a, a big issue for us. It's almost certain that you won't be buying cheese with your wine from the grocery store anytime soon. After the 21st Amendment, Utah became one of 17 control states, meaning the state controls the alcohol from the time it leaves the warehouse and arrives in the hands of the consumer. I think we'll be constantly looking at tweaks and changes to our alcohol policy. It'll be all consistent with the idea of being a control state but look also as a way to balance the public safety concerns against the concerns of accessibility and, and those who want to consume. Right now, he says Utah's liquor laws are pretty fair. You know, Utah really isn't so bad. When it comes to our alcohol policy, you can get a drink in Utah. For the Utah League of Cities and Towns, I'm Susan Wood.